You know, it's a pity when people die. Even people I'm opposed to. And I made a video, in fact I made two videos, about Sylvia Brown when she died. Another psychic, Colin Fry, who I saw in person a couple of years ago, and didn't think was very good. And there's a whole load of revelations about his career as well. He died recently at the age of 53. Now he's appeared on the TV in the UK for many years. He's become an established name within spiritualism and the circuit operating in theatres across the UK. He's been caught out on stage and screen. People who've gone to his shows have been forced to sign disclaimers so they cannot speak about the content and recording of the television programme and performances relating to it. But the most famous time Colin Fry got caught out was when in fact he was doing a physical mediumship event, a seance where he was meant to be tied down and in a closet while the spirits manifested various objects around the room. However, in the darkened room of the seance where the audience were observing a trumpet hovering in the air, someone knocked on the light switch and lo and behold, Colin Fry was left there standing on a chair holding a trumpet up in the air and was not in fact tied down and locked in the cupboard. Instead he was going around the room faking mediumship and yet this did not damage his career at all. He's also demonstrated trance mediumship where he brings through a spirit guide called Magnus. As with practically all demonstrations of trance mediumship where the medium claims to directly channel the spirit being, there is no evidence provided, simply an alteration upon the voice and the body language which could be easily faked. Needless to say, I did not find Colin Fry convincing, and when I saw him, it seemed to be a question of cold reading and people he seemed to have some kind of contact with in the past. And last but not least, I would like to pass on my condolences to his loved ones, his family, but I don't personally believe, accept, and think that the evidence is sufficient as to say there was anything genuine about his supposed spiritual gifts. Even in my own time upon the earth plane, to look up into the stars was a great fascination. There was great contemplation as to what existed and what was in the stars. Does he look like a bitch?